speak to Cade Six. Got to speak to Cade Six. Got to pick up the treasure maps. Gives you a little hint of what's going on this week. We've got EDZ. We got five of them, as always. We're gonna be taking a look to see where these are a little bit later on. We'll be picking all these treasures up. Hopefully, get something good. But uh, now that you got the uh, the treasure maps, we'll take a look at the other milestones. Of course, you're going to have the flashpoint in the EDZ. Heroic strikes complete three of them. Somehow, I've already got two of them done. I just signed in. Maybe it carried over from last week. Not sure. You got your Crucible Challenge for the Daily. You got your Nightfall. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, you got the Leviathan. Go into the Full Raid or the Eater of Worlds Raid Layer. Clan XP. Just get 5,000 XP. Get your Clan Powerful Gear and your Cold Arms. Probably got to jump into about mm, four, maybe five. Probably five. Probably five matches of, call of uh, Crucible. And you get that done. So, let's see, what's the Nightfall this week? What is the Nightfall this week? We gotta go over to the Strikes, Strikes page. Uh, what do we got? Arms Dealer. Arms Dealer with Prism. So we're gonna be rotating your Elemental Damage effects. And then we've got Killing Time. So defeat enemies to extend your timer. That's how you're gonna uh, get through the Arms Dealer this week. Next stop we've got here in the Tour of the Tower. Is Tess Everest? We're gonna Welcome see what she's to got in the Eververse store uh, this week. So the two new emotes: we got Gallop and we got the bureauc bureaucratic walk. Then for exotics, we got Icora's Resolve. So I've never even seen what this ship looks like. I like that ship. That's a pretty nice looking ship. How much do these things cost? Two thousand bright dust. And your ornaments, we got the one for the prospector. We'll take a quick look at that. I think it just makes it look all ornamented out in white. Yes, it does. And that's eight hundred. Then we got another eight hundred one for the Darcy. Let's take a look at that one too. I think I have this. I think I do have this already. Yeah, I got that chilled ice effect on that thing right there. Then of course Zavala. He's got he's got the gear for sale. But he's also got a weapon for sale every week. And this time, this week, we've got what's this? The deadpan delivery. We've got the deadpan deadpan delivery shotgun. Uh, I've gotten a couple of these. I've actually gotten two to drop back to back for me while turning an engram to him, and they dropped at masterworks level. <clears throat> but I'm all about the Hawthorne shotgun, and that's all I really use. So I will not be buying that. I will not be buying that one. <clears throat> Next up, and finally, right over here, Lord Shax. What you got for me, Shax? What you got for me? Same thing, you got that weapon for sale this week. Hey, it's the same one as last week, I believe. Play the game, Grenade Launcher. I picked one of these up, haven't used it yet, so I'm going to give it a shot. I've heard good things, though. I've heard good things. If you're looking for a Grenade Launcher in Crucible, pick this one up. Uh, I think that's about it. That's about it, guys, as far as the weekly reset. Not much to talk about. Like I was saying earlier while uh, while I was streaming to my buddies here in chat, I have a feeling we're going to see something new next week, whether it is Faction Rally or Iron Banner. I think we're going to find out about Thursday, so tune in on Thursday. We're going to be talking all about that. We're going to get back to the live stream, which we're doing right now. And if you guys want to tune in, that is always 8 p.m., on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, or very close to that, but uh, following me on Twitter, at Mischief Gaming, best way to find out when I'm going live, and if there are any additional days during the week that I go live, which most of the time I do. But that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.